What up, what up? Uh, this is Rio. I go by Rio, the Super Producer. And I want to help you guys, all my Reason users who are uh, running sessions in Reason 7. Uh, the first thing you want to do is find your tempo. And I see a lot of people having uh, a lot of problems trying to find and match the tempo of songs that um, you import into the session. So let's get straight to it. The first thing, I'm going to randomly find something that um, I can import. And uh, we'll go from there. Let's try it. I guess this is a Let's Luga beat. I don't know. So the first thing you want to do is um, right click your WAV file and you want to select Disable Stretch. That's the first main important thing to do. Disable your stretch and then we're going to turn on our click. Turn the click up a little bit. We're going to turn the track up a little. And what you want to do is we're going to tap along to the beat just to get a ballpark feel of where the tempo was hitting it. So here we go. It seems like the tempo is falling between 139 to 141. So this is how, this is the major important factor of how to know you found the tempo instead of just guessing around. As you play the beat, you should be able to click and skip throughout the beat. And the tempo should continuously fall on point. So this is how we're going to find out. 139. Let's test it out. So you see a soft beat. So let's try 140. Oh, and another important quick tip. Zoom in. I'm going to zoom in to the beginning of the song sometimes you have open space and we do I see so you see this little area this gap turn your snap off and you want to trim this in right at the transient right at the start of it and drag it back to one and turn the snap back on so now we're finna test out tempo 140 Okay, we found the tempo 140 and we know it's the tempo because it stays on point throughout the whole entire beat. Now I'm going to show you what happened if you were to select 141. We saw what happened with 139. As you see the tempo is already off. It's already on the upbeat. So the 141, I mean 140 indicates we have found the right tempo. After you have found your correct tempo, here's another major important step. Right click and you want to bounce clips to new recording. Basically what we're doing is taking the older version and we're making it into this one so now you can enable your stretch and you can have more control over changing the tempo and everything matches up and links up with the grid. Um, 140 is the correct tempo. I tapped it at a faster tempo. You can even tap it at a slower tempo, which is cut time. 70 would still be the correct tempo. 70 just equivalent to 140, just at a faster tempo tap. Thank you. I hope this helped you guys. Hopefully, I'll be doing more tutorials. I'll uh, take care.